Here with the champ, the heavy hitter, Cassius Cheney, the WBC USNBC Silver Champion since 2019 and current, right? Okay. So Cassius, um, as uh, Jimmy was saying, he's happy to have you back in CT. How you feel to be back home and settle in? I feel good. I think it's a uh, great timing for me to come back home. Uh, I've learned a lot, you know what I mean? Uh, I think our first interview that we did, I was in Miami in the, in, the boxing, in the boxing facility, you know what I mean? So for me to get through that and do that for a whole year, I think it showcased that I am disciplined and um, I can go through things that most people can't get through, and I did it for a year. So I just, I just feel mature and, and I feel like if I, if I feel good, I fight good, so I'm ready to go. So a lot has happened in the past year from when we spoke. How is it being uh, a, a new dad? Oh, it's fun. You know what I mean? Just seeing her grow every day, um, seeing her personality come. She turns one. She turns one actually in two weeks. So oh, okay. her personality is starting to show. And, you know, she reminds me of me. You know, she, she, she reminds me of me. So we have to see what happens as she gets bigger um, as far as what, what direction. You know, of course you decided to take I wanted to go there. I wanted to play tennis though. Yeah. Your upcoming fight, what's your opponent looking like and what you what you think you can bring to the ring to get him out of there early? Uh, he looks fit, but I think um, my jab and stand on him, not giving him any breaks. That's something that I feel I've been working on a lot is uh, not giving a guy rest time. I think that was one of the best things I learned in um, Frank Sanchez is camp. Even though he takes his time a lot in sparring, one of the things I learned from Frank and uh, Luis Ortiz is they they put pressure on you without really throwing, and that's something that I feel like I've gotten a lot better with. Yeah. So I'm excited that Luis Ortiz is going to be fighting Ruiz. Who you got your money on? I got Ortiz. That's my guy. You know, I got. I think Ortiz is just polished, and he's just one of those older fighters that just like, you know, they can hang around. The Ortiz, the Areolas, and um, there's one more out there. I forget. Ortiz, Areola, Derek Chisora. Yes. Oh my God. Those, yeah. Those that guys fight. are weird, man. Like yeah. they just, they just know how to preserve themselves enough, and I think. I don't know. I think I'm I'm in that mix, you know. At some at some point, maybe it just depends. You know? Well, I know you love the bright lights, and that's where you turn it on. Um, excited um, that I'm here in CT, and I um, hopefully, God willing, I get to see the fight August 20th. It will be my first time watching you live, so I'm excited for that. Yeah. Um, tell me what else is going on. Are you able to get some um, hoop time in? <laughs> um, I haven't really been playing basketball that much. They they want me about playing basketball, so I haven't been playing. And um, I've been more focused on just uh, my sparring and, and really just my conditioning overall. Just if I feel like going to run, I'm just gonna go run. I don't need to play basketball that much, you know. So basically, protecting those weapons. Yeah, those yeah, I'm protecting my hands. A lot of guys do more reaching than anything. I don't need any hand problems or anything like that. You should get it insured. Yeah, <laughs> put put right. a million on it. Right, right. Yeah. yeah. So I'm um, excited. I see you, you guys over here got some shirts going. Uh, yeah. Actually, <laughs> these guys are on my basketball, my AAU basketball team. Oh, okay. My brother coaches this, this age group. These are the uh, fifth, sixth, and seventh graders. And uh, we're, we're, we're trying to do as much as we can for the community, for the kids. So you're still involved, you know, I mean, you're not hitting the, the hoops or anything, but you're involved on the sidelines. Oh yeah, I coached the eighth grade team this past, uh, this past spring and this summer, so that, that was fun. So my eighth grade team, I'm looking forward to those guys coming back and the younger guys coming up. Um, what made you decide to link back up with, uh, um, with Jimmy? Um, one of the best things was uh, he knows how to promote, he knows how to sell, sell his fighters, and I do feel like as far as the fighters being local, he's going to do all he can to make it happen. Um, also, one of the biggest things was I'm back home, and I'm around people that care about me. It's hard to 
I'm not saying any of the trainers I train with are bad people or bad trainers. But if you don't have a relationship with them, it could be it, it's hard for a person like me to feel like I gotta pay somebody that I don't know if they have my best interest. And that that's hard. So basically it's the chemistry. Chemistry, yeah, yeah, chemistry and time. A lot of it's time. You know what I mean? And it's, it's hard to like, I think any of my trainers like me, you know, but it takes time to get to know me, get to know my personality, how to communicate with me. And they already know how to do all that. You know what I mean? So, so in one of your posts, uh, I think it was in June or something, you had a post with Herkovic uh, in the picture. Did you get some rounds in with him? I didn't really, we never really sparred. We did a lot of drill sparring and things like that. And um, yeah, it was good. It was really good sparring, well, drill sparring with him. Uh, so that's a tough fight for me to call because I've actually sparred Jalei as an amateur. Oh, yeah? So I've been around both. So I've been around some really good, some really good fighters. Yeah. Oh, I would have loved to see that or hear about it if you did spar with yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it would have been good sparring. Um, yeah, I mean, actually, they asked me to come down this week, but they never got right back to me. So. We'll see what happens. Yeah, he, he's in Houston. I forget the coach. Uh, he's with. Yes, yes. So, uh, you know, I'm glad he made, he made a nice move from Mundo to uh, Texas. It was a bit of drama going on here, but yeah. But you know how it is. Yeah. So, you know, it's good talking to you, and I won't keep you long to get to your family and enjoy this press conference. And I love this because it reminds me of old school Don King's uh, press conference. Pull up you know, entertain the the reporters and pull out the food for all the people that showed up for the conference. That's really nice. A uh, real old school way. Um, thank you so much uh, for always being gracious. I'm Cash and Shaney. Shout out to Anonymic Action. And uh, I look forward to getting my fight on August 20th at Mohegan Sun Arena. <laughs>